Hello everyone and welcome back to Carthage. Yes, I know I said I cancelled Carthage, but it is back. And the reason why is because just basically after putting a bit more time into just learning the game, like I've been playing Total War Games for 10 years, but each one's a little different. And so after spending time in the Arsena campaign and just and in my like non-recording games, just from general learning of the game, I thought, alright, I'm a bit more familiar. I think I can bring Carthage back from the dead. So I went and loaded up my old save. Uh, I see that I was going to keep going, by the way. So I'm going to try and put two campaigns, like alternate one day will be Carthage, next day will be I see I don't know. I'll work something out. But anyway, so I jumped back. I jumped back into Carthage to see if I could just rebuild a little bit before I decided if I was going to start recording. And this is the state. So Syracuse owns Lilibam and Carthage. Uh, I lost all my. I lost my settlement in Iberia. So the only one I've got is Carolus, and then so I decided to just, well, if this is the only one I've got, I may as well just build up the biggest army as I can, so it's always defended and I don't run the risk of someone coming and taking it, like Rome. Anyway, so at the moment, diplomacy-wise, I'm at war with a lot of people, because they keep declaring war on me and my friends, so I have to help them, but I don't know what's going on with them. Like... Libya, they only own one place now, and Nova Carthago. They only own... Oh no, they own two places. Okay, so they own two places. I think. Yeah, they own two places. Cool. Anyway, so this is what I was doing for a few turns, was just building up this army here. I expanded my city. Uh, upgraded the, uh, the barracks, so I could get some stronger hoplite units, which are... Uh, this guy here, a couple of swordsmen, and they're recruiting some as well. So now I'm going to have this guy here just keep recruiting, and he'll defend. He'll defend Carolus, which is now my capital. So I have three options. With my big, big army, Carthage. my full 20 stack army, I've got three options, and I want you guys to tell me what you think I should do. Because I'm going to try and make this. I'm I am going to try and revive this series. Alright, so, we have three options. With my big army, I can take back Carthage, Carthago, Carthage, basically, from Syracuse. But that is a big city, so that will take a lot of men. Or, option two, I can go up and take uh, Alia from the Romans to control these two islands here and have a good uh, sort of base that can, you know, j can jump... Uh, jump across those islands. I'm not going to worry about Syracuse yet. Actually, no, that could be option four. Yeah, I'll make that option four. Well, option th yeah, option three, okay, is to take back Lilibam and then try and you know take control of Sicily. And then option four is to go straight for the jugular and take Rome. As in, not Neapolis, not Cosentia. Go straight for the Dragula and take Rome. So, keep in mind I have a nice strong army here. Uh, and I can also recruit more. Like, I can uh, I send, I can send like a, a full stack and a half or so. I, rec I can recruit another general. I Maybe send this guy over as well, but I want someone... Oh, and I also got an elephant for this guy. <laughs> anyway, so that's the options. Take Carthage. Take Rome. Take Alia. Or Lily Bam. So, Carthage, Rome, Alia, or Sicily. You guys tell me what I should do.